All right. Boys, today we're going to watch some elite level gameplay from a game I've played recently in a game called Jet Bounce. Uh, we've got the three best players in the world currently at Jet Bounce, and we're going to see the three of them compete against one another in a couple challenges to win points and overall come out with one winner at the end. I will be your commentator for the day, your caster, your entertainment, if you will, while we watch this elite level gameplay. So, all right, let's get everything settled. Let me hop into the call. Yo, what's going on? Hello. How's everybody doing? Hey, Dan. Cool. How are we doing? Good. Yeah, great. Can't great. wait. Great. So, do you want me to go over this, um, the beginning of this, these slides and explain how the tournament will work? Yeah, yeah. yeah you can just, um, Show that. Okay, let me do that. All right, boys. We have got a little bit of a presentation put together from Mr. Uh, Castell, the dev. So let me load that up. Let me get a get a little song going. All right. So basically, this is a jet bounce speed running tournament a little contest between the top three runners in the game currently Fletcher thank you for the follow uh, let's see all right so these are the jet bounce speeder and competition finals we have some prize money on the line there are three jet bounce challenges I believe if I can pull it up it is the uh, lunatic run where they play in lunatic mode which is exceptionally bouncy um the first place will get 60 points the second place will get 40 points the third place will get 20 points then we're gonna head over to the highway level uh and they're going to try to get the pyramid or the uh the, the uh, gem inside of the pyramid if you're familiar with the game but you cannot use your left hand to adjust your bounce or your grip so that's the extra challenge there. First place is going to get 120 points. Second place is going to get 80 points. And third place is going to get 40 points. And then challenge three, the main event, an any percent run. The first to finish the game at any percent will get 180 points. Second place will get 120 points. And third place will get 80 points. Players earn points for each of the challenges. Uh, and the player finishing the events with most points wins, of course. First place is getting a fat $70 payout. Second place getting the $50. And third place getting $30. So no matter what, our lovely, talented top three speedrunners are getting paid out today. 
We got a $150 prize pool here, ready to go. So that is the lineup for this tournament today. I think we're going to be starting with Lunatic Mode, then getting the gem inside the pyramid, and then an any percent run. So that is what we'll be witnessing today. I cannot wait to see what skills these guys have. I have watched some speedruns to brush up, but they're gonna pull out the big guns. Warm it up first. All right, let's 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 uh let's get in for some warm up. Oh, I almost forgot. This challenge will be giving away keys to chatters. At the beginning of each challenge, you can vote for an outcome. Who will be first, second, and third in the races? Um, so you can, uh, you basically, as it says here, the three runners are Hollow, Precy, and Kate. So you basically have to predict first, second, and third correctly. And you will win a free key to play the game. You have three minutes from the start of the race uh, to uh, enter a vote. I will, I will get a, um, a timer up to show how long you have to vote. I think that'll be good. So yeah, you can win the game for free. You don't even have to buy it. If you predict some of these races and uh, keep watching, you can get a free key for the game. You just have to predict the right outcome for each event. And I believe that's it. This one's a uh, little points outcome that we will take a look at in the future. All right. Let's uh Let's unmute and see if the players are ready to get underway. I think I believe right now currently they're doing a little a little bit of a warm up. Let's see. I'm gonna pop this out. And then I can do uh, like that. All right. All right. Gentlemen, we were all warmed up. Are we still warming up? Cool, yeah. yeah. So, so basically the warm up is uh, just the three of them are going to um, uh, to get to the first key. And Becky, uh, this is also to, to, to kind of well, to introduce the game uh, to the um, to the viewers so that yeah, like, we can just tell them, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So let me re-explain that. So basically, they are going to do a warm-up, get to the first area, do uh, a couple of gems to start off to show you guys chat the uh, the basics of the game. These are the pros right now. Are they going? They're going in uh, power mode, right? For this warm up, a little warm up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Are we so, already starting the warm up or? Are we waiting? Uh, you guys can go for it if you want. I'm just gonna explain a couple okay. things. All right, so here they go. They're going. They're undergoing a warm up. So basically, in the speed run, they jump outside of the map here, as you'll see. Now, let me move my camera. Actually, I'll do this. They basically just jump outside of the map, and it spawns them further ahead in the tutorial to where they can uh, do it faster, which I think is in an, a really cool skip off the beginning. Um, but basically, chat, they are in, they're in power mode. Power mode is uh, different from the standard mode, which I played on stream. So in my mode, your left hand basically glides you um, while in the air. But in power mode, your left hand's control angles your bounce. So when they hit the ground, if they're holding to the left, they'll bounce like more to the left. Um, and you cannot control yourself in the air, so it's a little different. You have to be very more precise with your right rocket hand. 
Look at this. They're just flying through. I think uh, if all these are synced up correctly to the correct time, um, D Mole's in the lead over here. Let's see. What was it? What was the name? Hollow. Okay, this is this is Hollow. This pre C and K. So everything synced, synced up correctly. Hollow Hollow should be in the lead. Look at that. He's already he's already on the the last uh or the ending of the level. Shortly followed by Kate. We basically have to dodge the lasers from the big eyeball monster to get the key to open the next level. They are flying. They are way faster than I was. Oh, he used he used one that was interesting. He used one of his um the blue crystals to uh get speed right off the right off the bat in um in the hub world so like right out of the portal haven't seen that all right pretty solid Precy's just finishing up he's riding the left wall here in this final area all you gotta do is get to the end by any means necessary All right, there we go. All right, good stuff. Cool, Got yeah. It. Yeah, so that's it for the warm-up. So, um, so now we are going to uh, start the, um, the first challenge. Which is lunatic mode, right? Exactly. So, so lunatic mode, uh, you have uh, 12 minutes to... You have 12 minutes to uh, get the most gems and... Uh, yeah, and if there is a tie, uh, that will be down to the number of uh, puzzle pieces. So let's say yeah, that that uh, at the end of twelve minutes, we have uh, two players that have that have ended with uh, seven gems. Then yeah, the the one with the most uh, jigsaw piece, uh, well, it gets the spot. Okay, so they're going for most collectibles in twelve minutes in lunatic mode, which is an incredibly bouncy mode, and it's very hard to control. So it's going to be interesting to see how much control they have over um, their character in this mode. I, I think... Exactly, yeah. it, has anyone beaten it yet? Or is it still unbeaten? No. <laughs> I haven't even it's gotten close. <laughs> so it's literally a mode that even the top players haven't beaten yet. That's how, that's how little control you have. It's incredibly bouncy. So we're going to see who can get the <laughs> most stuff in 12 minutes. All right. Okay. Uh, then you're you're gonna do the, the the countdown. Yeah, let me just pull up. I'm pulling up a a timer here. Uh, let me get it up. Here we go. Uh. Okay. Ready. Seems like that already. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right, and they're off. So lunatic mode is incredibly bouncy and you have a very lack of control. Oh, let me take this. Okay, timer is going to go top right, right up here. Actually, that's not a good spot for it. They are flying through the tutorial. Jeez. All right. It's, it looks like Hollow is into the first level already. He's collecting jigsaw pieces on the fly. I wonder who is the most familiar with lunatic mode. It seems like Hollow so far. He's moving pretty rapidly. He's using the the momentum really well to like bounce into collectibles and stuff. A bit of a fall there from Kate, I believe. It's alright though. 
while speed is a huge factor of this challenge, I'm sure precision matters way more considering how bouncy you are. I, I, I don't think you have any control in the air. Oh, look at that. A big bounce from Hollow. Unexpected, and he falls out of the map. He's got to hop back into the level. A fall from Preci. Has to return to Lake to get the gem. Wow, you really don't... You really... You're very... I feel like gravity is turned up a notch. And uh, you're a very... Like, your bounces just go crazy sometimes. Kate, collecting the second extra level gem. He's missing a bunch of jigsaw pieces, though. I think, from what I can tell, um, Hollow is doing the best so far. Let me get your predictions in chat. If you think Hollow is going to win, put his name first. In the order of um, who you want to win, you have to put all three names. So if you think Hollow is going to get first, Kate's going to get second, and Priestie's going to get third, you type Hollow Kate Priestie. And the winner gets a free key for the game. So Fletchit is going with Hollow, then Priestie, then Kate for first, second, third. Yes, predict, predict two predictions who wins. I'll let it we'll let it go another minute. If you want to drop a prediction for who do you think is going to win right now. All right, here we go. It looks like Kate is the first to end the level. He's already out. Hollow having a bit of trouble trying to get into the uh, the portal here to exit the level. Look at that. The bounce sent him to the right. Oh, but he used he's using blue uh, crystals to recover. Very nice. It seems like Preci is still in the first level. I think he's struggling with the snake level. He just bounced out of the map. Oh, boy. Lunatic mode is no joke. And there's Hollow collecting the key, moving on to level two. So, so far, Kate is the first ahead. He probably has the uh, the most gems so far. But uh, does he have the most jigsaw pieces? Because I've noticed that Hollow has been collecting a lot, a lot of jigsaw pieces. Partly because it goes by most gems, and then if you're tied, most jigsaw pieces is the tiebreaker. But also, he probably is trying to farm um, blue crystals. So it, the more jigsaw pieces you get, the more your character levels up and gets uh, those blue cl crystals on your left hand, which allow you to um, basically get a recovery jump to angle yourself in the right way. <laughs> he's having a little bit of... Tr oh, wait, that was calculated. I was going to say, he's having a bit of trouble getting into level two, but it looks like he's gone behind the portal to get a jigsaw piece. I missed that one in my playthrough. That's a sneaky one. I cannot believe that. Behind the portal is a jigsaw piece. Kate is moving rapidly through level two, using the hang glider there to uh, not fall off the map. He comes up a little short on the second time. He's going to fall out of the world. Hollow getting a good start on this uh, level two world. He's being very precise, going into Saturn here. Very nice. And it looks like Preci is finishing up level one. So he's going to uh, catch up to the boys here. I think level two is a, a tall climb, a bit steep. Very nice from Hollow to uh, wrap up Saturn there. I don't know if Hollow's strat of going for like every jigsaw piece is going to, is going to be worth. Because he might be losing out on a time that could be spent getting more gems because if he has the most jigsaw pieces but kate beats him in gems or preachy beats him in gems then uh he just loses so he seems to be going for all these extracurricular gem or jigsaw pieces when really the gems are the main focus but maybe if there's a tiebreaker he he, he has it in the bag so you never know Collecting the standard overworld uh, 
gems here for uh, Hollow. Kate making his way up level two. Preci a pit on a slope here with the crazy bounces. He's trying to not bounce backwards and get up into level two. There we go. Now he's in. So all three players have now made it to level two. We look, it looks like we have Kate going into engine here. Engine, one of the side levels with rotating fans and balls. Bit of a crazy bounce, he falls off. Has to re-enter engine. It looks like uh, Hollow has fallen out of the map. He's back at the beginning of uh, level two. He's going to have to catch back up to Kate, who seems to be the most ahead now in terms of progress through the game. But we're not going to be able to see the gem count till pretty much the end when we find out who wins. This is exciting. Preci's entering Saturn. A little bit of on a slope here. There we go. He's up. Onto the Saturn ring. Let's see if he can clutch up. One try this. There it is. Very nice from Preci. Oh, bad bounce off the wall from Kate, but he recovers. Hollow is in the engine now. He's got some catching up to do. Preci making quick work of level two. I think a couple spills off the edge from Hollow has put him behind Kate here. And maybe given um, Preci to catch up a little bit if, he, uh, if he's perfect. But again... Hollow going for all these jigsaw pieces. He's got so many jigsaw pieces compared to what I've seen from from Kate and um, and Preci here. It looks like Kate is moving into the top side of level two. Ooh, a very thin jump there. Almost could have bonked his uh, the bottom of his character model, but makes it up nonetheless. Very nice. And we have Hollow making quick work of level two. Oh, but a bad bounce. He's going to fall a little bit. Nicely recovers. And Preci's in engine. So it's honestly pretty tight. Obviously, they're going to have a slight difference in uh, collectibles. Like I say, um, Hollow probably has more jigsaw pieces. But Preci's not out of it. He definitely has a chance to, uh, to catch up here from um, a couple mistakes, maybe. From the, uh, the two in the lead currently. We've got two and a half minutes left. It's coming down to the wire here. Let's see if any of them can get to uh, level three. Or if we're going to uh, see a couple more gems collected in level two. To end off the 12 minutes. Entering chains here for hollow. A bit of a spill. He's entering back in. Looks like Kate's heading to the top of the map. A couple bad bounces off these blocks. It's an awkward section, because Lunatic Mode, every bounce is is wild and uh, hard to predict the outcome of. So getting caught trying to go straight up and, and clipping against the wall of one of these blocks is going to send you panicking in a different direction than what you intended. So this is a, this is a rough section to be to be climbing. Nicely done from Hollow, finishing up chains. Looks like Preci might have fell off the edge of the map. He's back down to the beginning. He's got to climb back up. He's got a mountain to climb. Not looking good for uh, for Preci here at the bottom. But it looks like Kate is going to be the first one to exit level two, and he's on to the final stretch. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So Kate is our first one out of level uh, two. But there's a long stretch here without gems. Coming down to the final minute, if Hollow can get these last few gems and maybe tie, I think he might win off Jigsaw pieces, but it depends. It depends on our, on our gem count. 
Oh, big fall there from Hollow. But is that enough? Because Kate's not getting any more, any more gems. Oh, look. Ooh, he's getting Jigsaw pieces. He might know. He might think he's tied. He might have some intel here. Moving on to level 3 is uh, Kate right now. It looks like their timer's slightly behind mine, so I'll wait. They've got 10, literally 10 seconds left. I don't think... Kate's not going to make it to level 3. Uh, Hollow playing its marketing jigsaw pieces. Gentlemen, that's time. 12 minutes on the clock. Let's get an official gem count from everybody. It looks like Hollow has... Nine gems and 23 jigsaw pieces. It looks like Kate has nine as well. And Precy finishing with seven. So that means there is a tie between gems between Kate and uh, Hollow. Which means Hollow, with his strategy of getting a ton of jigsaw pieces, is going to take first place with 23 jigsaw pieces as the tiebreaker versus Kate's one. So that means Hollow gets oh, first no. place. Kate is going to take second place and Preece is going to take our third place points. So if we look at the, uh, the points <laughs> breakdown. For the first challenge, oh. Lunatic Mode, Hollow is going to be taking 60 points. Kate is going to be taking 40 points. And uh, pre -C is going to take him 20 points. Am I saying that right, Pre-C? Pre yep. Yeah, 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 yeah sweet, pre sweet. You got it. All right. Yep. First challenge complete. Well done, boys. Well done. That was impressive. It, I could tell how bouncy some of those jumps were. And, oh, my God. You guys are so precise with the control. Insane. All right. So what I want to yeah, do... Uh, Wait, uh, Lin? I think Hollow is mute. Okay. Uh, Hollow, can, can you hear me? Uh, can yep. you hear us? Yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. So, so it's in here that uh, you, you've been going for the strategy of, of just farming the puzzle pieces. I mean, not just farming, but uh, like I was collecting them where it is convenient, I guess. I, I don't I have no idea how the hell do you do this? How do you get nine gems without uh, dread balancing? <laughs> Kate had just one puzzle piece. Is that right? No, ho okay. Hollow came out on top with the puzzle pieces. Uh, yeah, 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 that's him. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, uh, uh, for most of the run, uh, Kate was ahead of you, uh, collecting uh, well many more uh, gems, but it seems that yeah, right now. Wow. So you you guys got since both of you tied with uh, uh, nine gems, then actually your, your your strategy, which was actually the the riskier one, uh, paid out. Yeah, at the end, Kate yeah. was almost about to enter level three, uh, and I noticed you went back for more puzzle pieces, which was smart because you yeah 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 because with a minute I left, you no got that last gem. More gems, right? Yeah, yeah. At, the, at a minute left, you got the last gem, and then doubled back for jigsaw pieces, where Kate went to try to get to level three. But he ran out of time before he could get there and get a, another gem. One more gem and he would have had it, but uh, the yeah. jigsaw pieces ended up paying off. All right, Priscia, uh, uh, how, how did it go? Uh, I got seven gems, and just after the engine gem, I fell off the level. So <laughs> that pretty much ruled me out of getting the last two gems of... Uh, chains and the top of sky castle i pretty much was reeled out at that point so last two minutes i just was like i hope someone else made that same mistake so i just went for a few jigsaw pieces that i had left over i haven't i'm, I'm not practiced in lunatic mode i only had about a, a few minutes play time in it so i'm i've done better than i thought i would for lunatic mode you definitely weren't out of it. If if you yeah. didn't fall on level two, you had a chance to uh, to catch up because uh, the the other guys took a couple spills off the level and had to uh, to reset from the beginning. So if you played it perfectly mm -hmm. in level two, you you had the chance. You were catching up a bit. 
Um, but then that one unfortunate fall set you back a little bit. Yeah. Well, I probably had, if I hadn't fell, I probably would have had time to get those last two gems. And I had more pieces than Kate. So had I not fallen, maybe I could have got it. I don't know. And you could have snagged. Yeah, could have got, could have snagged second there. Impressive work, nonetheless. All right. Are you ready for the next uh, challenge? Yes, yeah. we're going to be having into challenge two, which is inside the pyramid on highway. We're going uh, to actually, uh, uh, Dan, if, if you switch to the above to the slide, uh, the last slide has all of the details plus the points. Sure, sure. I'm just going to have it on screen um, for uh, during the races and stuff. All right, here we go. We're going inside the pyramid to get the gem on the level highway. The first place. Competitor is going to get 120 points. Second place is going to get 80 points. And third place is going to get 40 points. But that seems like an easy challenge, right? The catch, you cannot use the controls in your left hand. So you're going strictly based on rocket boost. There is no bounce modifier and no strafing in the air. It is strictly based on the rocket boosts in your right hand. So it's an extra element of challenge for these professionals to deal with inside the pyramid all right is everybody well and ready yeah and just to reiterate the gem to get is the gem in the inside of the pyramid in highway all the way at so the top, the, right? yeah so can i clarify yeah, so this is start of the game to get that gem and you can't use your left hand at all the whole run exactly okay exactly when you find, when you get that gem, uh, the run uh, the, the run ends and just uh, look at your look at your hands so that we can know exactly uh, uh, what the timer is. Yep. All right, I can hide this timer. Gentlemen, whenever you're ready. Everyone good? Yeah, I'm good. Yep. All right. Three. Two, one, go for it. All right, predictions in chat. Predictions in chat. Predict your first, second, and third. In, you should have three names. If you think Hollow's going to win, Kate's going to get second, and Priestie's going to get third, just like the last heat, then predict Hollow... Kate Preci. We are trying to uh, give away some free copies of Jet Bounce if you can predict one of the outcomes for the race. We've got one guess for Hollow Kate Preci. Solid. Taking the uh, the outcome from the first race and continuing that to the second. Let's see if you're correct. You can guess the winner right now in the first three minutes of the run to... Uh, Secure a free key of the game. Looks like Fletchett's going for Hollow Precy Kate. Believing in Precy to snag that second place. Everyone backing Hollow as as the uh, the winner here in this challenge. He raised his fist up. He's confident. All right. So basically, they have to start from the beginning of the game. Getting to highway as fast as possible in order to get inside the pyramid. And the entire run, they cannot use their left hand. They're only using their right hand to boost. So they have a bit uh, of a handicap there. It's not quite lunatic mode where the bounces are going crazy and you're getting flying all over the place. But not being able to use your left hand and guide your bounces is a bit is a bit tough. Because it's a very key element of the, the, uh, the control you have in the speedrun. And also, I believe your left hand is what you use to do your recovery jumps from the blue crystals. Um, so they don't even have that to work with. They literally are just relying on the rocket in the right hand in order to uh, fly throughout the, the map. Preci doing well here. He looks like he is the furthest. He's the closest to the highway level so far. Getting through uh, the giant eyeball laser section. He is through. And it looks like Kate is close behind with Hollow. 
bringing up the rear here. Hollow, our winner for the first challenge in lunatic mode. May, might have the most practice in lunatic mode. But maybe, um... I don't know how how much less practiced or more practiced each player is from one another, but... Maybe Preecy is the speedrun expert. And Preecy is going to do well in this challenge of any percent to get to the end. Or to get to highway the fastest. Because he is currently in the lead with Kate now entering the Sky Castle on level 2. Complete switch out. We might see Preecy with a win here. He definitely has the lead. Sticking to my original prediction. Respect, respect. Hollow has world record and everything related to Jet Bounce. Nice. Okay, so there you go. A little bit of uh, background information, insider information. Hollow is your is your front runner for these challenges. It looks like uh, Preecy's in Saturn here. He's got the lead for sure. Kate entering Saturn closely behind him. And Hollow... Just getting the first gem now in level 2. So he's got some catching up to do, Mr. World Record. Oh, he's not going to make it up. He's going to have to go around or back to the block. No, he's going to choose to go around. Oh, we got a little bit of freeze from Kate. Hope everything's all right there. Preci doubling back for the first gem. I think he went Saturn first and doubled back for that first gem in the uh, in the level. Oh, Kate is back. We're back in. Here we go. A little bit of some some spillage, maybe. I think he took off the headset for a sec. Now we've got Hollow heading into engine. Hollow is going into engine first, but I believe he hasn't done Saturn yet, which is um, still puts Preci in the lead, considering they're both in engine right now. Preci ha should have an extra gem here, even though they're doing the same section first. Nicely done from Preci. Being very patient not to go on the moving block while it's at an angle, and he has a lack of control. Waiting for it to flatten out. It looks like Hollow finished engine and is back into the main level 2. Kate now here moving up to level 2, going for what I believe is engine. Hollow moving upwards to the top side of the map. I don't know, I don't think you need to do Saturn, because you only need a certain amount of gems in, in, in each level to like unlock the portal to the next level. So I, th I think he might be skipping Saturn and maybe is in the lead. But if he has to go back down to Saturn, I think Preci has him beat here. Nevertheless, Preci is one gem ahead, even though he is behind in the level currently. He paused. So that's his in-game timer. Okay, sweet. We're a little out of sync now. Gotcha. Alright, so currently... It's between... Um, Hollow and Preci here. They are literally neck and neck at the exact same spot. Preci is going to be the first to head into chains with Hollow shortly behind him. Moving up the level onto the uh, the ring. Preci has the lead currently. Not being able to use your left hand is probably ridiculously hard especially in in um in power mode where your bounces are a little bit more crazy than uh than in the uh flow mode which is the easy mode oh look at this literal not even a second between the two as they grab the gem and chains Preci with a slight lead here is going to be the first to head to the top of the map Oh, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. But, oh, Hollow making the skip. Getting to that top platform. Well, Preci's going to have to go in from the bottom. Hollow with a nice move there to take the lead. Kate's heading into chains already. Kate might be on the catch-up. His timer paused when he paused the game. So, we're going to have to keep an eye on that.
There it is. The end of the level spawns when you have the required amount of gems. Hollow, knowing this, gets the gem and immediately pre-jumps to the final area that opens up after you get the gems. Before it even spawns. A little bit of a bad bounce for him there. Let's see if uh, Priestly can capitalize and catch up on him here. It looks like he's going to. What a bounce from Priestly. Oh, but he clips the wall a little bit and he's going to go back down. Unfortunate. He had he had the jump on Hollow, but he clipped the edge of the wall and he's going to have to go slow again, just like Hollow is right now. And that's going to allow Hollow to keep the lead here as he's into the uh, the second obstacle course to get the key for the level 3. Kate honestly making quick work of level 2. He's He's got a potential to catch up here and also his his in-game timer, since he paused, is going to be a little bit behind the other two. Um, so there's still potential for Kate to, to make a comeback if he's quick and take this. He's honestly catching up to uh, Hollow with those with that pause timer seconds in hand. Um, and honestly, could could make a run at a at Hollow here as well. There we go. Preci now into the final stretch on level two. Good luck. I wish good luck to the players as well. They're doing well. For not being able to use your left hand, they are already moving on to level three here. Hollow in your top right. I guess I could I could do this. Uh, to make it more clear who's who. It'd be like hollow. Uh, Preci. And then Kate. There you go. That's probably better. Alright. Hollow is in highway. The level required to complete this challenge. Remember, we're going for the, the diamond inside of the pyramid. Without being able to use your left hand. Look at that. He's already in the bottom of the period, moving up. Preci was struggling to get out of level 2. That is a tough climb without being able to control yourself better. Losing your momentum. I mean, honestly, it happened to Hollow and Preci. Losing your momentum there is tough. And look at this. Preci about to enter level 3. If... Hollow has a fall here, and Preci remains perfect. Um, Preci could take this right out from under Hollow's nose, but Hollow has a significant lead right now, playing very precise on these small square platforms. Remember, only being able to use his right hand. He's making light work of it. Look at these precise bounces. It's looking pretty good for um, Fletchett's prediction here. Putting Hollow in first, Preci in second, and Kate third. Preci now entering the climb. See, what's interesting is that Hollow has, has skipped a bunch of platforms um, in his climb, and Preci is kind of like taking it one by one. Maybe that'll pay off for him. It looks like... Hollow's struggling a bit with these round platforms and these slanted uh, squares here. Taking it slow. Maybe acknowledging that he has some sort of lead. Um, and just trying to not fall. Better safe than sorry. Oh, not enough momentum there. A bit of a fall. He's going to pull out the glider to uh, stabilize himself. Let's see if Priestley can capitalize on these falls. Kate, not looking good. Falling, falling back to the bottom. A harsh bounce. He's going to fall off the map. He's going to have to re-enter. Not looking good for Kate. It's going to be between Hollow and Preci here, unless there's some huge mistakes falling down to the bottom from the two of them. Hollow and Preci are your front runners here. Hollow having to retreat. Oh, but uses the momentum from falling back down to, to re bounce back up to the top. Hollow definitely the closest here. 
Look at Preci. Look at Preci hugging the outside edges of the platforms. A little bit of a scary bounce off the slant of the ceiling there. But he recovers nicely. Preci is not far behind Hollow. Hollow is, is taking it slow and steady. And ends up capitalizing for him. Hollow is your first place finisher. Um, depending on the in-game time, it looks like he did it just under 12, or just under 13. So we're going to see how the in-game times fare for the other two players here. Preci feels like a bit of panic in his in his jumps, trying to get to the edge of that platform and not clip the walls or the ceiling to mess up his momentum. He needs upward momentum and a full rocket boost to get up to this next platform. And masterfully done. He gets the job done. Looks like he's going to... Oh, bit of a fall. He's going to be finishing second here. Oh, he's panicking. He's hitting... The, he keeps hitting the uh, the ceiling above him of the pyramid. And there it is. 1340 around for Preci. He's going to take second. Unless that in-game timer is lower for Kate, but I don't believe so. I think like he'd have to finish pretty close to the other two in order to uh, have those extra timer seconds from when he paused matter. It seems like Fletch it in chat is going to get a free key for correcting or for uh, guessing the correct outcome for this race. Nice work, Fletch it. Putting your faith in Preci for that second place finish paid off in the end. Well done, congratulations. And there we go. Kate seems to be going the fastest, but it uh, ends up backfiring. Nice work. So what's the in-game timer on that, uh, Kate? Just to make sure. About 14. Or no, he finished about 10 seconds. The 13.50, we'll call it. All right. So I'd say um, that Hollow coming out with the victory, I think he was just under 13 minutes. 12.50 to get that um, top gem in the pyramid. And then we're we're gonna have yes, uh, that's right. we're gonna have Preci here with the second place finish at a thirteen minutes and forty seconds that the timer was at when he finished, and then Kate with a nice recovery honestly coming from behind only finishing about ten seconds slower than Preci with a thirteen fifty. Impressive stuff. It's it seemed like Kate was moving the fastest, but definitely it took a lot more risks, and fell a lot more than the other two. I feel like Hollow was playing it very safe in the pyramid there. Taking each jump one at a time. And Preci somewhere in the middle. Trying to go fast, but knowing when he needs to uh, slow down and, and go for some more control. Um, finishing second place. I mean, I don't know if you notice on Sky Castle, right at the top, at the very end of the second level, mm. I nearly fell. Yeah, I was yeah. Inches off of falling. Had I fallen there, like I had a heart attack. <laughs> you know you know that you and, and Hollow both... Uh, clipped the wall and had to uh, take the slow climb on, on the blocks one by one. So if you got that that skip with the momentum where you clipped the edge of the wall, if you didn't uh, end up almost falling, you would have had a significant lead on Hollow because he took a while to uh, to recover there. Yeah, I actually I actually had Hollow's sound for some reason coming true. So I could hear when he was at the boss stage oh. with the laser. And I, knew, I, knew then he was about, I knew he was about 15 seconds ahead of me coming into the boss. So I was like, okay, uh, you were there, you were right there with him. You only finished yeah. about uh thirty seconds apart. He was just under thirteen. You were around thirteen forty ish. So it was it was close yeah. for sure. Yeah, I didn't expect the Sky Castle stairs to be this hard. Yeah, the Sky Castle stairs threw yeah. me for a loop. I I, I was I thought the the climb final climb in the te in the uh, pyramid would be the hardest, but the Sky Castle stairs was tough. If one of you got that also, that skip with the momentum, you would have you would have been had a major lead going into the third level. Right, right, right. Uh, Preci, so what uh, what games did you get on Sky Castle? Because <laughs> at the beginning of Sky Castle, I was so confused with the controls that I totally forgot that Saturn even existed. Oh, I went yeah. <laughs> straight through. No, I did this. I did the standard route. I just ran. Out so did you skip the the topmost gem? No, I got it. Oh, you got, you got some yeah, more gems. I don't know why. I think you both did, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, think okay. I don't know yeah. why I did, but I did. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Yeah, uh, well, congratulations for the uh, yeah, well for the three of you. Now let's uh, move on to the third challenge, which is yeah, well, the vanilla and straightforward uh, speed run of any person. So I think uh, this time, well, the three of you can really go well full force. Okay. There shouldn't be any uh, major kick up this time. Okay. Yeah, let me try try mute these streams. All right, let's uh let's do the uh the point breakdown really quick. We have Hollow in first. He's going to be taking a hundred and twenty points for taking down first in challenge number two. Preci with the second place finish is going to be taking eighty points from that second challenge, and Kate is going to be taking forty points for third. So I'm going to add that to the tally before we get underway with uh, challenge number three. So, Kate is now going to be at 80, that extra 40. Preci is going to be taking 80 points, so he's going to be at 100 for the tally currently. And then Hollow, with a whopping 120 points, is going to add to his 60 to bring him to 180 points. So Hollow currently with the lead, Preci in second by 20 points to Kate's 80 in third. All right, let's see here. If if Hollow gets third on this one, that'd be 60. He'd be at uh 240. Um, so Preci, will you both? All right, it's anyone's game, honestly. Hollow gets third, and then one of you gets first. You could come out on top here and end up winning. Actually, um, if my math is correct, uh, Holo has quite a, a few points in event because actually, yeah, like, um, uh, so so before this event, uh, Holo started with already a, a 610 points, Kate with a, a 500 to 24, and Prissy a 500 and, a thir and, and 13. So, oh, is there like a is there like an extra points breakdown here? Is that what this is over here? Yeah, exactly. So so we hit the uh, the signing numbers like uh, this. This was uh, the results of the uh, three weeks competition, and uh, right. these finals is, is big. Yeah. So 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 big. Yeah. So so I think that like right now this like one. Okay. So that, like, yeah, that... there was a there was an ongoing competition during the week that determined some pre uh, had some predetermined points here. So if you see in the, in the in the left side above me here, Hollow was at six ten. Plus sixty, Kate was at five twenty four plus forty, and Preci was at five thirteen plus twenty. So there was some previous points breakdown that these challenges will add on to to decide an overall winner at the end. Exactly. So, so now it, it really seems to be uh, between uh, Preci and Kate to fight for the second spot. Okay, sweet. All right, gentlemen, if you want to. Uh, Give me the A-OK -okay to uh, run through the third challenge here. Oh, they're all muted. <laughs> I'm seeing nods. I'm seeing nods. I'm seeing yeses. All right. You may begin in three, two, one. Go for it. All right, so challenge three is going to be any percent speed run. So all they have to do is finish the game and they will come out in first place. It doesn't matter how they do it, whether it's getting the gems, whether it's skipping getting the gems, it's just the fastest player wins in round three here. Let's see who's gonna come out on top. Chat, get your predictions in chat. And let's see if someone else can win a free key. Fletchit taking the free key from last game with his correct prediction. You've got to cor correctly guess all three winners here. So you need to correctly predict first, second, and third. So if you think Hollow's going to win, Kate's going to get second, and Priestie's going to get third, type Hollow Kate Priestie in chat right now. And... If you correctly guess the outcome, you can win a free key for Jet Bounce. 
Hollow Kate Preci. That's our first guess. Coming in. It looks like Hollow's already through the first world. Does that mean he's going gemless? So you so there is actually a way to beat the game without getting certain gems. At level one, you can definitely beat without getting any gems. It looks like hollow is it's definitely I think a harder route, but it is quicker. So hollow has our lead significantly here, not getting any gems. Going for a gemless any percent run. Very risky, very risky indeed. Let's see if that risk pays off or it'll backfire. All right, level two for hollow. Going gemless. Let's see the gemless strategies. I think the gemless strategies are, are super, super interesting. Because you literally just don't spawn the final bridge. Yeah, you finish, you finish the entire game without spawning the, the stairs that take you to the, the portal that ends off the level. Usually you have to collect the gems in order to spawn the stairs at the end. But it looks like Hollow's going without that. Cosmic, thank you for the raw tier one. Yo. Appreciate it. All right, everyone everyone in level two now, but Kate and Preci both going for gems in Saturn while Hollow is just making quick work of the level, climbing to the top as fast as possible. I'm interested to see how um, the gemless runs go without spawning the stairs because it seems like it'll be difficult. He's using these uh, these blue gems very well. I think you need to use these blue gems in order to get into the uh, the, the sky portal, um, because they'll give you they'll give you free momentum. Yeah, like look at this blue gem right there, another blue gem, and he's in. He's in. No gem run. Going smoothly here for Hollow. While our other two competitors are climbing up the map, going into the side levels. It looks like uh, Kate is in engine right now. About to get that gem. There it is. Preci climbing to the top. Look at Hollow. Riding the right wall in the uh, the eye monster laser beam area. He's going to be heading all the way to level 3 already. So unless he has a major mistake to where he needs to... Uh, I believe the, the way this goes poorly for... Um, the way this can go wrong for Hollow is if he uh, messes up some tech to get into the sky portal and has to farm blue crystals in order to get his um, his boosts on his left hand. I think if he runs out of those, it's it's not possible to get into some of the sky portals without without those extra momentum um, on the blue crystal jumps, which is basically just a mechanic where um, if you if you're falling and you can't control your character, you can hold to uh, basically pull and, and arc yourself with some extra momentum using the blue crystals. Oh, but he's a professional. Look at this. Look at the amount of speed he has. That bounce off the pyramid. Now he's going to use these blue crystals to try to get up. Oh, it was close. He ha I, think, I think he wanted to only use two crystals, but he had to end up using his third because he knew he wasn't going to make it. And look at this. We have Preci ending level two. Swift, a swift gems run for uh, for Preci. He's making light work of this. Kate having a bit of trouble climbing up um, to get the final top gem in in level two. There it is. Now he's got it. Expertly done from Hollow. He is showing why he is the world record holder. I just woke up. It's an early morning, Cosmic. Early morning. Hot wait. Hollow re-entered highway. Oh, oh, okay. He's cut. Hey, you know what he did? My alarm is going off. He re-entered highway to get blue crystal. I was like, what is that noise? 
I believe Hollow's strategy there was to re-enter highway in order to farm blue crystals for the next level. I believe I believe that's what he was doing, uh Castle. I believe that was the strategy. I think Precy's in an extra a side area of level three, getting another gem. There it is. Kate a bit behind here. Going to be entering highway. Alas, out of the three. And here we go. Hollow in Metro. I'm excited to see how he handles this. Because this level is... is Everything's spaced out um, pretty far. So it's hard to... Uh, it's hard to maneuver this level. Let's see uh, how he fares. I want to see the pro level strats here. Especially no gems. He's not going to be able to unlock the staircase. So we're going to see how he's going to get into the uh, the final portal here. Preci getting a, yet another gem in, a, in another side area of... Level 3. There it is. Oh, a bit of a fall from uh, from Hollow there. Falling out of Metro. He's going to have to run it back here. I don't know if he used any blue crystals and lost out on those, but um, it doesn't look like it. He's not farming them. He seems pretty fine. He's going back at it. Kate and Preci still working on these gems in uh, level 3 highway. A bounce there to get back across to this car. Ooh, very tight jump there. Just barely clearing that edge. He has to save all his blue crystals for the skip. Okay, so there, to get into the, uh, the portal at the end, I, I, I assume he needs... A full set of blue crystals in order to get enough height. Chip Bounce VR, great game. It, it really is. It's actually insane. So this this level is where it's going to be uh, tough. It looks like he's using this, seal, this uh, roof here to get momentum to fly across to this other roof. No way. He goes for the center. Oh, perfect bounce off the center. He's going to go for this orb and try to go straight up, I assume, from here. Very nice. There it is. One, two. With two crystals, he enters the ceiling portal off that pink orb. And he's done with Metro. So it looks like Gemless is going to pay off here for Hollow. He has a significant lead over the other two. It looks like uh, Preci is ending level three here. Before Kate. Kate unlocking the staircase is going to be shortly behind him. It's honestly neck and neck for second place here. They are very close behind each other. But Hollow, man. He's just going... Gemless route is paying off. He's a full level ahead of the other two. Insane stuff from Hollow. Again, showing why he is the world record holder. He is the key man for the records in jet bounce and there it is he's got the key he's out of level four he's out of metro going to be heading up here to what i believe is lava to finish out his run do you know what world record is off the top of your head castle is he close is he is he on a is he on a world record run here I assume no, uh, just because it's a competition and there's nerves involved, but he, I, didn't, I haven't seen any real major mistakes, if I'm being honest. He's been pretty tight with his gameplay. Preci and Metro here, Kate now entering Metro, and Hollow entering Volcano, the final stretch for Jet Bounce. Yeah, look at this. The very pretty rainbow areas of Metro, the side areas. They look very lovely with Preci climbing up to get yet another gem. I mean, to, to be honest, though, um, yes, there are le one level behind, but Gemless and, and all gems are still both pretty quick and pretty, uh, pretty tight. They're not terribly far behind. Although they're going to need a major mistake from Hollow here. 
if they want to catch up. Consi especially considering they're getting all the gems. Oh, look at this. Just a patch of blue crystals for, uh, for Hollow to farm in Volcano here. <laughs> Under 10? Under 10 into Volcano is insane. I believe he was a bit ab above 10 when getting into Volcano, but... It's insane stuff. Going for on top of the rings here. Gonna be grabbing another Jigsaw piece. Maybe that levels him up and gets him an extra blue crystal on his left hand. Another one farmed there. He's just moving swiftly and grabbing blue crystals in his path. Another one, another one. Look at this. He's insane. Another gem for Preecy. A, ooh, a tight jump for Kate. Nailing that. Well done. Oh, and Kate's, Kate and Preecy both have the staircase unlocked, so they're going to be entering Volcano here pretty soon. Again, Hollow makes any mistake. The other two are, are right there with him. If he, if he ends up falling out of the level... Oh, having to use a gem there uh, with a little unfortunate bounce, not being able to clear that. But he's in. He's in the portal. He's into the end of the game. The black and white area. Lovely stuff from Hollow. I think he's going to close this out here. Unless a major mistake comes. He's pretty much got this in the bag. And there it is. Into the final room. Hollow finishing it out with... If he looks down, 1242. Insane stuff. Beating the game in 12 minutes. and four, Under 13 minutes. World record is, is a sub-10. Insane. 1242 is still crazy. Especially to go for gemless in competition. Ridiculous stuff. Ridiculous stuff from Hollow. We have our final two contestants. Everything to play here for, for second here. For the second place prize money. The, again, in the first two rounds, they are at 180 points between uh, Preecy and Kate. I think Preecy has 100, Kate has 80. And I think winner of this second place finish will determine, if I'm correct, you can correct me on that, Castle. Winner of this uh, second place finish will determine who gets the second place prize money. I don't, I don't know if anything's decided yet for, for the second place. Hollow definitely securing first. But this might determine who gets the second place prize money, which would, which would be uh, super interesting. This uh, this this final uh, area here is a little tough to climb up. So we're seeing a lot of bouncing around here to uh, increase momentum. Looks like Preecy is uh, trying to control himself off this wall so he can get up. There it is. That should be good enough. There you go. Kate closely behind him. But it's Preecy who's going to be entering Volcano first. I wonder if he's going to go up top to uh, farm blue crystals. It looks like he is. If you don't know, if you go up above the volcano in like the little smoke plume up here, there are some uh, a bunch of blue crystals that you can farm in order to uh, enter the last level with some, uh, some recovery mechanics in your left hand. And it looks like uh, he's going to take full advantage. A little bit of a bad spill there down the volcano. He's going to allow Kate to maybe catch up. Does Kate go for the extra? He is going to. If Kate hits the first try, they are literally neck and neck coming down into the final level. Then there it is. Kate Kate going to be uh, collecting these blue crystals pretty much at the same time of uh, as, uh, as Preecy here. And there we go. Preecy into the final level. Kate shortly behind him. It's all coming down to the final level here. For the second place finish to determine who gets that second place prize money. And I believe... Uh, if I can pronounce it right, H58 H has uh, Kate winning second here to get the free key. So it's all on the line for him as well to get a free copy of Jet Bounce if Kate ends up clutching this up and coming second. But he's got some catching up to do as 
Preci is making quick work of this final level. Getting on top of the ring. Getting the jigsaw piece. Gonna need a good bounce here. While getting the blue crystal. Oh, a very nice turn too. Look at that. I think, honestly, Preci is doing this uh, this last level faster than what Hollow was doing with it. But Hollow pretty much knew he had the lead, I assume, and was going for uh, for safety to close it out. And look at that! Using his blue crystals to jump into the final portal from pretty far down, honestly. And Preci's gonna clutch up here. Final stretch. One more bounce. There it is. Preci closing it out at around 16.59. He got the sub-17. Very close to being over 17 minutes there. Are you in my Clash of Clans clan? There it is. Kate ending off Volcano nicely. He is... Over 17, so that means Preci has secured second place with that sub-17 finish at 16.59. And Kate finishing it off. 17.30. Still a very respectable time. It's faster than I can beat the game. Nicely done, Kate. And there you go. That is our any percent run. Gemless seems to be paying off for Hollow. Let's check in with the guys. Gentlemen, nice race. Well done. It seems like Hollow with the gemless route has uh, taken the risk and deemed the reward. Finishing in 12 minutes and 42 seconds. Taking that first place finish. And you guys were actually dead even going into Volcano, by the way. You, uh, with that, with that little slip up to get the extra gems up top from, uh, from Preci... Uh, yeah. That allowed Kate to catch up, and you guys entered the level at pretty much the exact same time, which was insane. The battle for second place was insane. But Preci clutched up at the end, moving swiftly through Volcano. How you feeling, Preci, with that finish? I'm pretty happy. Um, my mic probably is very loud because there's a power washer just outside the window. But, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, very star. It went off. I thought it was going to be a disaster because the first gem, the second gem. In the first level, my grip button got stuck down, mm. and so I failed the first, the first the very first gem. And I was I like, "Did oh, see that? Damn. A little bit of a slip up, but you ended up yeah. moving swiftly past that." Honestly, I figured it out, and then I messed up the volcano at the end, and I was like, "Damn!" Yeah, you, you that volcano. that little slip up added a uh, let let Kate catch up, and like I said, literally, like a, not even a second between you both entering the level, it was literally down to the wire. Yeah, so normally I wouldn't go for them uh, spikes anyway, but I messed up the climb out of Metro as well. I had a bad bounce and I missed the spikes there. Yeah, yeah. So I was down two jet bounces where normally I would have three. I only had one. So I was like, I'm just going to use this to climb up the hill. And well, I'll you, take, take the hit. You ended up Come using on. them really well because you skipped like, like pretty much the final... Uh, section of volcano to get into that portal and finish it out. Oh, I always skip that. <laughs> yeah, actually, cool stuff. Yeah, actually, this is what we call the pre-c skip. Uh, the pre-c skip. Yeah, that's his uh, uh, signature mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would normally do it in one or two bounces, but I had a third one. So I was like, hey, listen, I'm just gonna do an extra bounce here, get my extra spike, and. There's no way I've messed up my pre C skip, so. <laughs> yeah, and, and even with two bounces, it is so, so precise, I can do it uh, reliably. Really? If I have three charges, yeah. In two charges, which is very, very tough, yes. So pre is the uh, man Especially two on wife. And still mm. not right, so, used to the controls. So, yeah, so, 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 so in your opinion, uh, how did this uh, gemless run go? Oh, uh, I messed up so, so much. Uh, I practically, I forgot the route. Uh, so for example, in, in the Metro, uh, I had to uh, go and start over because I messed up and I tried to go to the right straight to the tower and I needed to go bounce to the left. 
because I need to gain a lot of momentum to get on top of the roof without using any bounces. And I only had three bounces there. And also coming out of uh, highway, uh, I had to use more charges than I usually do. So I had to reach on to farm more charges. Yeah, we saw so that. Yeah, we, that we saw run you was pretty much a disaster. And Volcano was a, a complete mess. I had like four or five nasty mistakes here. It wasn't all for safety. It was uh, five mistakes. Mm. And uh, luckily, I managed to do it in a reasonable amount of time. 1242 is still incredibly impressive. And you are the world record holder with under 10 minutes. So the, right, fact, right, right. the fact that you're uh, talking bad about a 1242 shows the, the amount of skill you have in that gemless <laughs> run. Because... Yeah, and the uh, sub-10 uh, route is pretty much the same to what I try to do now, but... Just without, without the mistakes, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So a very clean run with this route is about 10 minutes. And I think we can bring it to 9 minutes as well. I'd love to see it. I'll be there to react to the, uh, the speed run when it happens. Hold on. Congratulations for the first place finish. Now we move on to Kate. Thanks. How you feeling? After that race, oh, he's uh, he doesn't have a, a, a microphone yet. Oh, okay. She prefers to stay a, a silent, but um, yeah. Give me, give me some hand motions to to express how you're feeling. So, so, okay. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like Hollow is going to come out the winner, and I think that finish right there determined who gets second who gets third am i am i right with that yes that's right so Preci, with that second place finish on the any percent run is going to take home that second place prize money <laughs> there he is he's <laughs> excited taking home some extra cash well done Preci. <laughs> let's go <laughs> Oh, congratulations, um, everybody. That was, that was fun. It was a good time. Uh, this was awesome. It was fun. Yeah, well, and, and really was thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Dan, too, yeah, for reading this, uh, this best uh, commentary. Yeah. Of course. Of course. I'm happy to host. That was a good time. It was fun to watch. You guys are insane at the game. It's crazy. So much control. Yeah, yeah, I got to brush so, up on my lunatic mode. Uh, I had not a clue what was going on. <laughs> listen, the first one to beat it, send me send me the run. I'll I'll react to it. That's that that mode is insane. Yeah. You probably won't because the run will probably be like four hours. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. We'll, we'll skip ahead and, and find the find already the key like, moments. I'm already like six or seven hours in, and I am not even close to finishing at all. Oh god. <laughs> Anyway, this is just the first run anyway. Um, yeah. So, so for the giveaway, so so, so, so as far as I know, there's only a Fletcher, right? Uh, Fletcher, yes, Fletcher is is the is the only one that correctly guessed an outcome. So he is going to be our our winner of a free copy of Jet Bounce. Congratulations, awesome. Fletcher. I'm gonna I'm gonna message you a uh, Fletcher for the key. Yeah, Dev will be in contact to uh, get you that free key. All right. Congratulations, guys. This has been fun. Uh, I'm going to head out. This was a good event. Thank you for allowing me to host uh, Castle. And uh, again, send me, send me the, uh, the Lunatic runs and the, the, uh, the world records when you get them, and I'll, I'll take a look for sure. This has been awesome. Yeah, well, thank you so much for, for hosting this. Yeah, yeah, this was really fun, and yeah. And, and a small thanks to you uh, for, for allowing this to happen. Of course. If, if there's any uh, events in the future um, and you'll be willing to have me, I'd, I'd be down to uh, to come back and cast again. But All right. All right. Take awesome. care, guys. Cool. Take it easy. Yeah. All right. Oh, dude. That, that gemless run, I know he said he made a lot of mistakes. Uh, that was pretty clean. I, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Because it's it's not easy to to beat the game without gems. It's like it's basically doing the game as not as intended, which is like I don't know, it's ridiculous. And to go for that in a speedrun competition is like risky, ballsy, honestly. But I'm sure he's had a lot of practice. I'm sure he's very used to it. 
So congratulations to Hollow. Thank you for doing amazing host. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that Jet Bounce event. Um, I'm going to probably be live again in about two, three-ish hours. I'm going to basically shower, uh, make some breakfasts, um, do some laundry, take care of some chores and stuff. Um, but I want to stream pretty much all day today. So I'll be live again probably with Pogo Stuck in about two to three hours. I'm going to do those new modes in map three. And then... Um, Let's see. I'll probably play some, uh, maybe some like Lego Star Wars or something. We'll get started on, on Lego Star Wars. I've been meaning to play it for a while, but that is going to be uh, what's going on later. If you want to drop a follow and come back, I would appreciate it. I know Fletch it and uh, Ape have uh, given me the follows. I appreciate it. Um, thank you again to Castle and the Jet Bounce community for letting me host this event. It's been really fun. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. Um, Castle, if you want, I can send you the VOD if you want to uh, use this for the Jet Bounce YouTube or, or whatever. Um, by all means, go ahead. Um, but yeah, what an event. And congrats to Fletcher for winning the free key. Uh, insane. Insane outcome. All right. GG's, boys. Let's see. Let's find someone to raid. And then hopefully they give me the return raid when I'm live again later, you know? Actually, mm, is there any Jet Bounce streamers going right now? Anyone streaming Jet Bounce for the first time? That'd be that'd be sweet. That'd be that'd be the perfect the perfect person to raid. Nope, just me. It's too early for it's too early. No one plays Jet Bounce in the morning in in America. Jet Bounce is a is a nighttime extravagant. All right, what about what about Pogo stuff? Let's see if anyone's on Pogo stuff. Oh, glowed fire. Let's raid glowed. Perfect. This is a uh, an EU frog. Pogo player. Good friend of mine. Everyone go say hi. Drop him a follow. He's a he's a nice guy. I promise. He's doing some map two right now. It looks like he's doing 720 mode, so. Wish him good luck in his speed run. Uh, and I'll be live again, like I said, two, three hours. So take it easy, boys. GG's.